Hi, welcome to Pausing for Prayer. Pastor Lori, Pastor of the Fairton and Newport United Methodist Churches, glad you decided to take a moment, pause, and pray with me. If you have any prayer requests you'd like to add to our list, make sure you message me here, or you can email me at pastorloriamitchell at gmail.com. Our devotion today, I'm going to use actually upper room, being a good Methodist today, got the upper room out. And it is called A Change in Pattern. Scriptures from 2 Corinthians 10, 5. We take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. One day as I watched my dishes, I agonized over things I said mm, in an earlier conversation, combed over my words. Why did I say that? I should have thought more carefully before I spoke. I pictured myself reliving the conversation and saying different words. Then God spoke to my heart. I stopped berating myself and started to focus on worshiping God. Praise you, God, for you're my creator. Praise you, you're my savior. Praise you, you're my sustainer. And when I finished my prayer of praise, I paused to contemplate what had happened. Earlier, when I was focusing on my shortcomings, I felt overwhelmed and exhausted. But when I switched my thoughts to praising God, I felt exhilarated and energetic. This practice of re redirecting my thoughts from beating myself down to praising God taught me that our creator gives us the ability to change our thinking. We can change the pattern of our thoughts from focusing on ourselves to focusing on the Almighty. With this mindset, we can live faithfully. And this one is definitely for me. And most of the times when I'm preaching something negative and it sounds like I'm being harsh, I'm usually pointing the finger right at myself. And that one was for me. We have, uh, for prayer requests, we have many that we regularly remember from both churches and they are listed. I have unspoken requests of uh, prayers for um, healing and comfort for many. And I forgot to add one person. Let's see. I did want to add to the list. Well, I'm wanting to mention during the prayer, there was a bad accident down in Newport on Saturday night, I believe. We were talking about it on Sunday. Um, three kids were walking in North. It was dark out, and someone didn't see them. And, of course, one of them, there was three kids, and they got hurt really. One got hurt really bad. And, of course, the driver is totally distraught. So I'm praying for, um, I think it's Gretchen is the one that was really hurt bad all involved in it and especially the driver because that person's so depressed that they're um, really having trouble and I know if I was in that situation yeah I'd be having lots of trouble so we could definitely pray for Gretchen and also um, the, the driver of the car and all those involved in it um, and let's see we had been praying for Cameron because he had found they had found a mass they found out it wasn't cancer but he also was scheduled for hip surgery this week and so we're going to pray for him since that was given the go-ahead and um someone we know in the community mrs whitehead she had heart surgery i don't have an update on her but i just wanted to mention that again so let's pray lord we want to thank you that we know deep down that if we focus on you we will be better off um, i think of the song turn your eyes upon jesus and you look full in his wonderful face, things of this world will grow strangely dim. And in these crazy times, we need to put our focus on you because the media and the devil just wants us to focus on everything else and make chaos about our lives. But Lord, we know that you are God of order and you. if we focus on you, not everything will fall into place, but we will... The other things won't matter as much, and we will put things in the right priority. So we thank you for that reminder today. I want to lift up those we regularly remember from both churches, Mrs. Blue, Miss Mary, Mrs. Lanning, Reds, Bev, Jenny, Hope, and Connie, from the Newport Church, Louise, Chase, Cheryl, Charlie, Lawrence, Wanda, Austin, and these car accident victims. Also, Sue that had a stroke. Lord, uh, I especially lift up uh, Wanda to you as she's recovering from surgery. I pray that you continue to heal her. I also pray that um, these uh, accident victims, especially the driver, comfort her, 
help her to have uh, the right frame of mind to get through the next days and months and weeks. I also lift up Gretchen, I believe is her name, and all the kids involved in this accident and their families. That you would comfort them as well as heal them. I want to lift up those that have cancer, especially we remember Sherry Fisher Riley, Mike, Jennifer, Nick, Wanda, Charlie, Lawrence, Diane, and Lori, who has breast cancer. And uh, we lift her up, especially because she had a double mastectomy and it was. Uh, having uh, complications with like uh, some kind of rejection, so I pray for healing. It's already bad enough to get a cancer diagnosis, but then to try to have surgery to fix it, and then things go wrong. So I just lift her up and ask for your encouragement for her. I lift up unspoken requests to people's hearts and minds, um, whether watching online or don't feel comfortable sharing. Lord, heal, heal them, and hear their prayers. I also lift up Craig for encouragement and peace. He loves you, Lord, and just wants to know what to do next and for you to provide as well as show him the way. For Cameron, who's having hip surgery, I pray all goes well and that you be with his mom and dad as they help take care of him, that they have extra strength. For Mrs. Whitehead, who's had heart surgery, I ask for your healing touch on her. For Jane and her hubby who are traveling, Lord, I ask for your traveling mercies. For healing, I ask for healing for Dina, Gail, Beth, Bobby, and Pastor Ghost. Wherever they are in their healing journey, Lord, I ask that you would continue to provide for them. And for Joshua, who serves our country in the Navy, I pray for him for safety and for comfort. I also want to pray for our schools and continue to pray for them that they stay safe and uh, that you would help the parents and teachers, administrators to all have a lot of grace and patience that we get through the rest of this year and that, um, that your will will be done. We thank you for the opportunity to pray and grateful for our churches. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, thanks for tuning in. I'll make sure that um, I lift you all up in prayer if you have extra prayer requests that I didn't mention. Just uh, message me or call me. Um, I know that I love you guys and take care.